Hi, today I'm just gonna tell you about my experience with being a patient sitter. I was a patient sitter for a year and three months. And in order to become a patient sitter, you just need a high school diploma. And my company asks for a BLS certification which is a CPR training that you would have to take. Now, my company didn't pay for the BLS certification. I did have to pay for it by myself. It was $50, and I think the class was two hours. If you would like to know what BLS certification places are near you, you can just type in American Heart Association into Google and you'll see a website. I think it's the official American Heart Association website. You type in your zip code and they will tell you the areas closest to you where you can take the classes. Um, after I took my BLS certification, I was able to start working. As a patient sitter, I think you can work two shifts. You can either work an eight hour shift or a 12 hour shift. For me, I worked three 12 hour shifts. And with being a patient sitter, you have to be prepared for anything to happen because some of the patients that you're watching, they have mental issues, they may try to hit you, they may call you out your name. Um, they may say some inappropriate things. But then you have those other patients who are very nice and calm. Um, you have some patients that just don't want to be bothered at all. So they don't say anything to you. But your job is to just sit there and watch them. Or like if they want something to eat or drink, it's your job to let the nurse know. In my case, being a patient sitter, like I was able to like help them to the bathroom if they needed help. I was able to make their bed, like if they use the bathroom on the bed because sometimes they're bed written or can't get to the bathroom in time. I was able to like change their linens and give them fresh sheets. Um, I couldn't do blood pressures or vitals. That was for the patient care technicians, but I was able to do basic tasks. But usually the techs would do like cleaning the linens and bringing them snacks and water. If they wanted a clean gown, the techs will get that. If it's real busy, like sometimes I would help them with certain things, but my job was mainly to sit there to make sure that the patient was okay. Um, that's about it. Um, being a patient sitter is really easy. It is very boring, I would say. So like sometimes when the patients would go to sleep, I was able to watch their TV, like watch TV shows or movies. And there are some patients who don't like their TV on, so like I would just put my headphones in and listen to music or just play games on my phone while they were sleeping. It depends on the facility that you're at. You're not supposed to have your phone out, but again, the shift that I worked was very lenient and it was also a night shift. So night shift is pretty much more laid back than day shift so I was able to have my phone out sometimes like when the patient was asleep um but that's about it like being a patient sitter is very easy it's good for those who want to work in the hospital maybe become a patient care technician or if you want to become a nurse I know a few of the um the patient sitters that I work with they went to become um, patient care technicians and nurses. But as for me, like I just wanted to get my foot in the door at the hospital. And like I only had a high school diploma, so 
I didn't want to work in the cafeteria. I wanted to work with the patients, but also get my foot in the door. But that's about it. Um, if you have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to leave me a comment and I'll respond to you. Bye.